Hello there, everybody. Um, just wanted to come at you guys with a quick uh, little showcase of a really cool project that I had finished a couple weeks ago, um, which was a uh, an image seam carving uh, algorithm or program, really. So it's written in C++. And um, we have a decent amount of files. We have testing files for them, which don't really matter. Um, but the main gist of this is going to be located within these, oh, well, let me open, open to the side. Okay. It's going to be in these four files where first I implemented a matrix, uh, a matrix like module in which we set up a lot of things that have to do with the, the pixel values here and like essentially filling an image, things like that, finding the, uh, the minimum value in a matrix, uh, it's, it's row or it's actual value, whatever, whatever, things like that. Then those functions are used to actually, uh, implement the image module a lot as well. Um, then the processing. So this is where the actual, um, this is where the actual carving is kind of done. But essentially what the program does is it computes an energy matrix, which is basically taking every pixel within an image and determining its like air quotes energy um, or kind of like its importance. And then determining which pixels to cut out based on that, based on those energy values for each pixel within the image. Um, and this function called the compute the vertical cost matrix, because what we want to do is essentially carve out the um, the seams in the image that have the lowest cost, or aka are the least important. Um, and so that's what this uh, implementation file does, and then it's kind of all brought together in this main function for our resize.cpp. So uh, I'll show an example um where i will go ahead and say dot slash resize dot exe and then i'm going to go ahead and pass it uh, a picture that i just actually downloaded it was beautiful northern lights um and then i'm going to rename it beautiful northern lights um but i'm going to name it. it this image is 500 by 500 by default so I'm actually going to carve it down to, let's say, 400 by 350, just to make it not the exact same thing. Um, and then I'm going to actually have to give those dimensions. So I do that, and now it's carving it. As you can see, uh, a file came up in here because it's going to actually put all of the PPM values uh, into the thing. It's still working. Uh, and it's done. So what we've done here is if I find it, it's called beautiful northern lights. So B, 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 B. Beautiful. So this is the file that the uh, program just created, right? I believe. Now this is the original. And this should be the new file. So these are pixel values. So every three is one pixel. R, G, and B are the ordering. And so now I can actually go ahead and say... Um, convert i believe I believe it's convert let me look that up yeah, yeah. it's convert and then i'm going to take my beautiful northern lights um 400 by 350 and then i'm going to convert that into a beautiful northern lights 400 by three th this is just helping me keep track i'm going to convert it into a jpeg image and so now we have that JPEG image, which I will go here. I will find it. Uh, this is the new image. So I'll show you guys what the old image looked like so that we could see uh, that. because That's pretty important. Beautiful Northern Lights. So this is the original image that was downloaded from the web right here. And let's see what the seam carving algorithm did to it. Sometimes there's funny results. Okay. So not too funny results. Uh, we can tell that it, we can tell, let me put these side by side. Um, we've got this one right here. This is the new on the left and then the old is on the right. So as you can see, it shrunk the image down. It deemed the pink to be high energy, which is, which is why it looks like it uh, 
kind of kept it large. Um, and it deemed it looks like the trees, especially over here, are mainly this like mainly the same, as well as the orange, this deep orange in the background. It does look like the uh, it looks like the uh, some of the water that was kind of lighter here that almost looks like super light orange, almost like ghostly white down here is kind of cut out. Uh, so that was kind of determined to be low energy. Another example of this that's pretty good is uh, we can, these are ones of like my friends, but if we take one of, let's say, the, where is it? Is it called horses? Yeah, horses.ppm. I'll convert that so we can see what that looks like. Um, so if I convert horses.ppm um, to horses.jpg, that should be good. And then I'm going to convert the, uh, the, shrunk, the, the carved horses file. So we have a horses, let's say, th uh, 300 by, yep. But, um, dot PPM, I think I have. Oh, it's dot, that's weird. Dot correct, that was for, uh, me testing then. And then I'm going to convert that to horses underscore 300 by 382 dot JPEG. And so now we have those two files, which I can open up. So let's find those. Uh, probably got to reload the folder. And there they go. So this is the original horses image. And this is when we carved it down. So as you can see, it did a very nice job of, um, did a very nice job of essentially keeping what was important and and pretty good focus like i would say that this horse is kind of thrown under the bus but the main focus of these three beautiful horses in the front as well as even this one in the back are really kept nicely proportioned they don't look like out of um they don't look like really out of like they don't look unproportional is the word I'm looking for. Um, and it kind of does a great job of getting rid of the uh, unimportant kind of space in between. Unfortunately, this horse kind of gets lost in that dust because that dust makes it seem unimportant. Oh, Counter-Strike talk. Um, but we have essentially a really, really cool project here that can take an image and somewhat, to a, to a reasonable, reasonable degree of accuracy, um, determine which pixels in that image are not that important and cut them out in an attempt to shrink the image down to a um uh, a give like a size that we want and um it does so while keeping the main contents of the image in focus usually which we see really well with these horses but we also saw pretty pretty well when i just did that live example not this old example that had already been done of the um, the Northern Lights, I literally just had grabbed that image off of uh, my Google Chrome. Like it's right here. This is where I just downloaded it from, and uh, it keeps the trees pretty nice. Unfortunately, the pink is kind of out of whack, as well as the uh, the loss of the lighter orange. But the trees and the uh, orange behind them look really nice. So uh, yeah, I just want to showcase this little project. I honestly probably was rambling for a little bit too long there, so I'm sorry if that uh. If this video is too long, but um, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day.